Hello everyone, this is Dan Buzz on Throw Hair. I guys today we're making Galatians 1 from the New Universe version, also known as NIV version. Recently I have gotten a bit sick, so I apologize if you guys can tell or if you guys may just hear me like coughing in the middle of it. But yeah. And also I do sincerely apologize for how late I am posting these things, but I am my schedule is kinda messed up and yeah, I mean I, I will try my best to get it out though. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Galatians 1, you know, I version and I have version. Paul, an apostle sent not from men, but nor by a man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers and sisters of me to the churches in Gal Gal Galatia, grace and peace to you from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to rescue us, rescue us from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. No other gospel. I'm, I'm astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you to live in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel, which is really no gospel at all. Evidently, some people are throwing you into confusion and are trying to per pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if, if we or an angel from the heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let them be under God's curse, as we have already said. So now I say again. If anybody is preaching to you a gospel other than what you have, uh, what you accepted, let them be under God's curse. Am I not trying to win the approval of human beings or of God, or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Paul called by God. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preach is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. Rather, I received it by re revelation from Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my previous way of life in Judaism. How intensely I persecuted the church of God and tried to destroy it. I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my own people and was extremely zealous for the tra traditions of my fathers. But when God, who sent me apart from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, was pleased to reveal his son in me so that I might preach him among the Gentiles, my immediate response was not to consult any human being. I did not go up to Jerusalem to see those who were apostles before I was, but I went into Arabia. Later, I returned to, to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to get acquainted with Cephas and stayed with him fifteen days. I saw none of the other apostles, only James, the Lord's brother. I assure you before God that what I am writing you is no lie. Then I went to Syria and Cilicia. I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only heard the report the man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith, a faith he once tried to destroy. And they praised God because of me. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!